Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm trying to get ready to make stuff for my son's birthday and I wanted to share with you guys in case you guys are interested in learning and making these for your own kids. Uh, you can grab these cut files and printables on my blog and I will link everything under the description box if you guys want to check it out. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. But for this video, I'm going to show you how I made this banner. So let's just get started. I'm on Design Space and I'm just going to upload, upload, then browse. And right here, there's a few cut files and printables that you can download and use, such as food labels, invitations, water bottles, and a couple of images I use for making a shirt for my kid. But I'm making a banner and there are two parts for this. So I'm just going to click on this. And when you're uploading a cut file or SVG, this is where it takes you. And you just name the file, put a tag if you like, and then just click save. Now let's click upload again, upload and browse, and grab the other part of the banner, which is this one. Since this is a PNG file, notice that this is a different screen where it takes you. So I'm just going to choose complex, continue. And I'm just going to zoom out so you can see the image then click continue and right here click on the print and cut name the file put a tag if you'd like then just click save now I'm just going to choose two of the files that I've uploaded and down here you will see what you chose and can remove as well so I'm just going to click insert okay so I'm going to move this image a bit here then click on the other image and I'm going to minimize it to 5 inches in width. Then click on the other image and I'm going to resize it at 5 inches in width. But see how this image has holes on both sides and the other part of the banner doesn't even have one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a duplicate of that image. So I'm just going to click duplicate, move the duplicate shape here, then select both of these layers. Then go on the top panel and click align, scroll down to align top, then align again, then scroll down to center, horizontal. Both is still selected, so now go down to the bottom right panel and click slice. Now I'm going to move the printed layer to the right. I don't need this anymore, so I'm just going to select it and just going to delete. So select both layers, click align, scroll to align top, then align again, and then center horizontal. And I'm going to group both layers, and this will keep it together in place. So when I'm doing things on the screen, no matter where I touch it, it will not move. Next, let's go ahead and click on text, and I'm just going to type letter H. Change the font up here. Click on system. And I'm going to type to search Minecraft font which you can download it from the font.com just going to hit enter change the font color to green then grab the letter and move it on top of the banner to resize and just play with it how you want it you can also grab a shape just like what i'm doing here there's no need for this step if you don't want to but i'm going to change the shape color to white and see how the shape is covering the letter so I'm going to click Arrange, then select Move Backwards. I'm just going to resize the shape, but let me move the letter H here so I can resize the shape better. Grab the letter and place it on top of the white circle. And now I'm going to resize the letter H. And I like this look, so let me just go ahead and zoom out once. So now I'm going to move the letter H away from the banner, select these three layers, and group it. But let me move this letter first right here. Now I'm going to click the group layers and I'm going to duplicate this 17 times. Okay, now I'm going to double click on the letter H and this box right here will show up. I'm just going to finish up the text to happy birthday. Let me move the screen a bit. Click on the happy birthday and see the dimensions up here. This would be okay if I were to use a 12 by 12 cardstock, but I don't have one, so I only have eight and a half by 11. 
So I'm going to click on the letters and I'm going to ungroup. And then I'm just going to click make it. We are now on the preview screen and it will show you multiple mats. Like for mat number one, this tells you right here that it's a print and cut. The material size is there and that looks good. And same thing with mat number two. Now on mat number three, I'm going to change the material size to letter size. Now on mat number five, I'm doing the same thing. Change the material size to letter size. It takes you back on top whenever you change the material size, if you notice. Just scroll down again and let's find the green mat to change the material size on that as well. Now let me show you what I'm going to do next. See how there's multiple brown mats and there are only two layers on each mat. I'm going to choose one of the brown mats and it doesn't matter which, I just prefer to click on the last one. Click on the shape up here and the three dots on the top left will pop up. Choose move the object and then the screen will ask you to select which mat you'd like to place the object to. Choose the mat and then click confirm. Click on the object to move. Rotate it and place it where there's space so we can maximize that space. Then go back to mat number 13. Click on the object. Click on the three dots. Choose move the object. Select the mat where you want the object to be placed, then confirm. Move the object, rotate it, and move it where it's appropriate. Then I'm going to do the same for the rest of the brown mats, so it's a pretty repetitive process. I'm just going to fast forward the video so that way we can get to the next step. So now that I'm done with all the placement, I'm just going to go ahead and go back to mat number one. Click continue. And I'm going to click send to printer, turn on the system dialog, turn off the bleed button, click print. I don't know about you, but I will need to minimize my screen to view the print setup. And right here, I'm going to change from layout to print settings. And then I'm going to make sure that it is in color. Then for print quality, I'm choosing best. Then click print. So once it's done printing, I'm just going to take the printout, place it on the cutting mat, and then take it to the Cricut machine to load. I skipped the video just cause I'm trying to keep the video as short as I could for you guys. But now let's go back to the screen because I'm going to choose which settings to use. So go to the browse all materials, type paper, and right here, you can pick and choose what is the best setting for your project. The machine I'm using is my maker, and I'm choosing sticky note on this project so you can see that this setting will cut through my labels. And the reason I'm doing that is because when I use the same setting on my Explorer Air, it did a kiss cut instead. So I'm going to click done. And then right here, you can choose the pressure to less, more, or stay on default. Then go back to your machine and see if it starts blinking, and if it is, just go ahead and click Start. Once it's done cutting, just unload the mat and prepare the next mat. And right here, I wanted to show you how to change the settings for other materials. Just click on this arrow. Just make sure that you are on the right mat. You can either browse all materials, but for me, I already have my cardstock as my favorite, so I'm just going to click Cardstock. Choose the pressure. Then load the mat. Once the machine starts blinking, Click the start button. So right here it's just showing you the repetitive process of preparing and cutting the rest of the cardstock paper. And I wanted to show you that when you are trying to remove a smaller piece of cardstock like this one, you can always use the Cricut spatula to help you lift the paper off the cutting mat. And sometimes I like to fold the mat on a taco shape and I gently peel off the cardstock off of the cutting mat. And 
And right here, I'm just going to show you a mini assembly of the banner. Take the cardstock and print out. Remove the backing of the sticker. Line it up on top of the banner and press. Grab the circle and you can use a double-sided tape or glue for this. Place it on top of the banner. Then do the same for the letter and place it on top of the shape. And right here, I wanted to show you the printables I created for the water bottles for you to see. Made a couple of shirts. And don't forget to grab these files on my blog. It's free for you to use. Now I'm just going to finish up the banner. Add a twine to it. If you prefer a bigger banner, please feel free to resize them. And that's it. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up or leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this project. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye, guys.